Welcome in everyone. I'm Gabriel, your host of Drum Tip Tuesday, and today we have an interesting thing for you. We're going to study an advanced linear pattern, very specific one. You know how I don't like to uh, just give out general advice. We like to focus in on something very specific, learn something very specific, and then move on. So let's get into it. Today, I'm going to approach this one a little different than I usually do. I'm going to use beats as references, but I'm not going to say this is beat one in its entirety, this is beat two in its entirety, this is beat, you know, etc., etc., etc. What I'm going to do is break it up into a sequence of linear rudiments. And I'm saying linear rudiments in air quotes because I know that these are not any of the 40 official drum rudiments accepted by the National Association of Rudimental Drummers or the Percussive Art Society, but they are rudiments by definition of the word, the first or fundamental part of the whole. The whole being the very specific phrase and the linear rudiments, if you will, being each little reoccurring part so that we can develop a muscle memory for that part and then we just have to memorize the sequence because it's kind of long. It's two bars long and that's why I'm calling it advanced. It's not really advanced in that it's hard to get from right, left, foot, but it's hard to memorize the sequence and that's why we're approaching it in a little different way. Speaking of which, here are the so-called rudiments of this pattern. Starting on beat one, we have a very simple right, left, right. I know it's very simple, but practice this. Practice the technique of pulling the sound out of the tom like this. Next linear rudiment, if you will, starts on the uh of beat one, and it is, once again, it's right, left, right, but it's preceded and followed by a double left. So you have left, left, right, left, right, left, left. And now, on the end of three, we finally get the kick involved here. We have kick right, left, kick right. And it's at this point in the pattern, you can see that once again, we have a linear rudiment come back, and that's that left, left, right, left, right, left, left, and it starts on the uh of four. You don't have to practice that again, we already did. We'll go on to our last linear rudiment, which then will begin on the and of beat two and go throughout the rest of the bar. And It is just a simple kick right, left, like that same kick right, left you did as your first linear rudiment. You didn't even know it was linear drumming. You're just playing a rock beat and then you, uh, you wanted to get to the biggest fill and you played that thing where we do uh, right, left kick, except the the left hand's on the first tom, and then the right hand goes back and forth between the snare drum and the, and the uh, floor tom. Alright, that kind of vibe. And we just do it uh, a few times here. Specifically, it is kick right left, kick right left, kick right left, kick. And that, once again, starts on the and of two. And now after spending a little bit of time with each one of those things individually, we're going to see how the muscle memory guides us so we don't have to read note for note. We can read a note and then our hands kind of remember a little bit of the sequence. We're going to put both bars together at three different tempos. <laughs> 